peace love and light so lovely little light beings if you're new to my channel my name is Tasia unique and I make lifestyle travel vlog videos and in this EP today I'm going to be first time solo traveling to another part of the island now this is profound because this is the first time I've ever done something like this before so I just wanted to document this experience and show you what it's like to travel to a different part of the island alone. Now, if you're liking what you're seeing or you're feeling, feel free to hit that subscribe button or you know what? Just wait to the end of the video because I'm sure I'm going to earn that subscribe. Stay tuned and full joy this video. Asia, nice to meet you. Two thousand years later. Okay, so it is, I believe, eleven o'clock at night, and I rolled up my first split. This is the first time I'm smoking in almost over a month because I've been steaming. I utilize cannabis for its medicinal properties, so. It's just as simple as that. Sorry, I just saw something weird. It also keeps me aligned when I feel a little bit fuzzy, whether it's mentally or physically. So, cheers to my first joint in over a month. I just wanted to include the fact, the reason why I decided to smoke is because I literally forgot my kachi and I was also on my moon cycle and I needed to have a really productive weekend because I had this video shoot that I was doing for the first time and I wasn't ready for all that, but anyways. That is the reason why I resorted to a different alternate version of medicating is because I literally forgot one piece of my steam chalice. And yes, I had to go with the Bible papers because I had to stop at the nearest little corner store to get whatever kind of papers they had. So here we go. Now I see why I steam. This would be my first time trying it. Sour orange juice. Although, I just had a little bit of a sip. I have to show you guys to the extent of how sour this drink really is. I'll give you a hint. It's very good and sour. <laughs> okay, cheers. Who needs coffee? Mm -hmm. The way it like 
stays on your lips. about to go to the river. I'm gonna go wash off my shoes because look at these, mosh up. <laughs> so this little kitty's giving me a tour because she took me over here to where these beautiful flowers are. You guys have ever seen something like this but this is a cat house you know you guys know of the dog house but this is a cat house yeah mm -hmm. oh really is that so oh you hungry so it's really cool because like you can see what it looks like inside too oh it looks like you already ate and the ants are taking over, honey. You can't fool me. You're greedy. It's true. Come on. Oh, BB. Wow, so we're already here. It was less than a minute walk. It wasn't even a five minute walk. <laughs> right here so we're out here we just finished a little swim at this river and yes, I am topless because this is a free place where people are allowed to do what they please with their mind, body, and soul as long as it's not harming nobody else, right? So we're out here, we're cleansing, we're purifying. I just finished jumping off this little rock out here and just full doing this whole entire essence. But now we're about to head back, get some tea, refresh ourselves. It's just amazing this. So I have to say this is the most unique and most adventurous place. I haven't been to any other place that has been so versatile in the amount of different things you can do and things to see. Um, and especially during everything that's going on in the universe, a lot of things are being restricted in the places that you can go and at certain hours. This place is its own land of itself. Like this is its own Jamaica. It's like a little Jamaica inside of Portland. We're gonna do a little bit of a tour of the property and take some pictures so I can send to my manager because tomorrow I have a video shoot with two up and coming artists. Yeah, and I can't wait to show you guys more. Going up. Here we got some fresh Italian basil. Now, I'm gonna look for, this one doesn't look too good, but I don't wanna, yeah. So this is some basil. This one has been eaten out by some, but oh, it smells so good. It's fresh. This would be good inside the steam chalice, not gonna lie. So you might want to think about incorporating some basil into your life because basil is really good for its stress relieving properties and also 
antivirus properties. So any kind of virus that you're fighting off, basil is really good for that. Look at this little pine. Did I mention that this is my first time solo traveling? Well, if you didn't know, this is my first time going to another part of the island by myself. So I give thanks and praise for following my intuition and my divine guidance. I'm going to be lighting up this spliff and sanction with my ancestors. I want to invite them to hold space with me as I just have this moment of communion so I can give thanks for being here because it's, how do I put this? I've been trying to get back to Portland since the first time I came to Portland. I fell in love with Portland the moment I came here and this is where I want to be. This is where I feel the calling and who knows, there may be other parts of Jamaica that I feel the calling as well, but after a year of living in Jamaica, I haven't resonated with much part of the island besides here and I've been trying to just get back here since I left here. And I'm finally here and I got myself here. And yeah, I was traveling at night for the first time traveling, solo traveling. I was traveling at night. And so it, it doesn't help that it gets dark at six o'clock here every single day. So it was nerve wracking, but I did it. And you know, if I would have let those fears or other people kind of talk me out of my own decision, I wouldn't be here right now. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and light the spliff because I'm getting a little carried away. The one thing that I can say about this trip and traveling alone here has taught me is you really do only have you at the end of the day. So you need to do what makes you comfortable at the end of the day. My whole life traveling with someone else, it's always been put someone else first and then you. But for the first time in my life, it's tending to my inner child. At the end of the day, it's your journey. This is your story. You're here to curate your book this is your movie you are the superstar the spotlight is on you and all you have is you and that's what i'm really learning right now i'm really getting a grasp of the concept you get to know yourself more as you travel Oh my god, I almost ate a live bug. No, sir. As I was saying before, I almost ate a bug. But yeah, I had to trust in the process and here I am. You know how they talk about the Earth's vortex? Well, I really feel like Portland is a portal itself. I think it's an energy vortex here. There's something about Portland and many people have said it even people that are local on the island have said it, that Portland is the most mysterious place in Jamaica. And I wonder why. Every time I come, I'm like, there's something, something. A lot of, you're very connected to spirit here. Either something, see la, see something just fell from that tree. Spirit is validating. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, this place is... This place is beautiful. So it is basically 6 a.m. I woke up early so I could handle some business before my manager gets here. And I'm supposed to be doing a music video today. So I am going to go see Wagwan of Odessa. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go see what's going on down there and eat some Ital veg, some good good ITAL breakfast before my manager gets here and then we'll go ahead and start shooting for this music video. Alright, there's my little update so I'm gonna go and handle my beers.
crochet needle ticking around in there. <laughs> yes, so I'm on my way to do my first video shoot ever with two up and coming artists and I'm running a little bit late, but it's okay because they were a whole hour late. So here I am showing up at the last 15 minutes and I'm already here. I'm still somehow late. <laughs> this is the first time I'm also modeling with no eyebrows. I say no eyebrows because I've always filled in my eyebrows, but today is a real test to my self-love because I feel naked without them and now I'm about to do some work and I feel a little bare. So we'll see. We'll see what I go on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know them sexy bay watch out there come out the water. Give me one there. <laughs> yeah. So this is what it's like being a supermodel. Oh, I wouldn't I don't know about a supermodel, but I don't know. This is just something that I kind of just started picking up and just becoming and embodying over time and just learning the degree of self-love and appreciation love and it just kind of got to a point where people started to appreciate fumble, fumble. <laughs> So right here, we're entering Scatter Falls. Got some moringa on my chest. And right here on this path, if you just keep on walking down, there is maroon settlements, still active settlements to this day. It's a good walk, like a nice 30, 40 minute walk. And I think that's quite fascinating. I would love to visit, I would love to visit a maroon settlement one day.
just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video if you stayed all the way to the very end this video holds a dear space to my heart this is my first time traveling alone to a different part of the island and first time in a music video so this is big like I, I don't even know how I didn't even plan for any of this to happen and I was able to share it with you guys so if you genuinely feel joy this video please share this with the dearest friend watch the newest YouTube video from Diani Senorita and like comment subscribe <laughs> all right so thank you so much for watching and if you want to support my shop feel free to click the link down in the description I will be linking my Etsy shop so you can check out all of my crystal creations and soon steam chalices will be available. So feel free to message me on my business account at Tay Topics if you'd like to place a pre-order today. And I also have steam chalice workshops for anyone that is interested in learning more about this healing modality and about steaming and conscious consumption. If that's something that resonates with you, then feel free to reach out. <laughs> all right, see you